Today we'll be reviewing a 5-star hotel in the centre of the central business district of New Zealand, Wellington. What's up guys, so welcome back to another hotel review and today we'll be reviewing Sofitel Wellington which is a 5-star hotel which is owned by one of the wealthiest family in New Zealand. And one fun fact about this hotel is that it is the first 5-star hotel to be opened in the capital of Wellington. And this hotel was opened in 2016 and it has more than 120 rooms. So without further ado, let's begin with the check-in experience. And now talking about the check-in experience, all in all, it took about 7 minutes overall. It felt really really okay. Service of the staff was decent, wasn't the worst but wasn't the best either. We did ask a couple of questions and she did for a few hour questions as well as actually we did a double booking at this hotel itself and was able to combine both rooms together into this just one room so we don't have to change but the overall hotel lobby wasn't super duper grand for a 5 star hotel but the overall experience only took 7 minutes so can't really complain much. So look, without further ado let's begin with the hotel review. <music> So guys, so let's begin the room tour of Sofitel Wellington classic room with king bed and when you immediately step into the room there's this relatively wide hallway so this white hallway feels larger than usual stepping further in there's a full height mirror over here very very vintage style with the framing right opposite the mirror is the full size toilet and it's very very large stepping into the toilet over my right is a shower area with the hand shovel rain shower three bottles of soap which is balmain soap according to rose last time she said it's a very atta soap the three bottles of soaps are also attached bathroom over on this side and stepping further in is the wash basin area so the layout of this entire toilet is very different from typical toilets there are two glasses tissues a couple of towels hair dryers more towels right below and your typical amenities over there but there's no toothbrush toothpaste so you got to bring your own. Hotels and accommodations in New Zealand don't provide toothbrush. So generally, I think is uh, they go they want to go for environmental friendly. So and moving on to the shading area overall, I would say it's super duper spacious and as you can tell, super duper large, spreading as wide as I can. But typical hotels in New Zealand. And coming out of the toilet and moving further into the room over on my right hand side as you can see is the mini bar area. Apologize for the mess because we just came back from dinner but basically there are two glasses of water bottles. There's a light, there's a coffee machine, there's a wine and apparently this wine can be free if you spend a minimum $100 at the hotel. There's also a kettle and the typical stuff like your tea, your coffee and right below it there are a couple of glasses, wine glasses, coffee glasses and also the mini fridge. In the mini fridge itself there's nothing but because we put it in the notes that is our honeymoon they gave us some stuff and stepping into the sleeping area we are immediately greeted by a very large king size bed with eight pillows two bedside tables and on one side there's a bow speaker and on the other there is a telephone with notepad on one side there's actually usb plug so that's very very good and a very unusual layout the wardrobe is actually here so there's four panels of wardrobe on this side is the hanging stuff there are a couple of hangers not much to be exact and there's a safe right below there's an additional pillow right on top so really really good and the second bathrobe which is over here and on the other two panels these panels open differently so it's open like that there's the iron the ironing board the shoe shine the shoe stuff and the laundry bag inside and for the tv wise it's a samsung tv looks like a 50 inch tv definitely can screen mirror but you can't pull it out to put your hdmi or chromecast or there's also no hdmi plug at the study table itself and moving on to the study table it's very very small in comparison to the entire room there's only one chair and basically that's about it but the good thing about it is that they provide a granddad chair very very comfortable and overall as you can see here the space is also very spacious you mm -hmm. can see for yourself what's that <laughs> picture of flowers and real butterflies as for the views there's pretty much nothing because we face a nether hotel called Bolton hotel and we face the cemetery we are located on level 10 and it's one of the higher few levels but there are no views to this place at all and in terms of flooring this floor is definitely really really comfortable and I like it because it's all carpeted except for the toilet it's tiles but whether it's clean or not not too sure which leads us to our next segment is oh it's quite clean it's quite it's quite clean the frame is slightly dustier but uh, considerably quite clean already so for this cleanliness I will rate it about 9 out of 10 
and the room that we are staying in is superior king room initially during the check-in we were actually upgraded from classic queen to superior king we paid 240 sing dollars for the classic queen and its size at 20 square meters but what you are seeing now is actually superior king at a size of 28 square meters so the price varies so we do not know the exact price but here is the average on screen and for our voucher it does not come with breakfast unfortunately but if you want it's an add-on of 32 sing dollars i also want to kind of complain a bit because we booked it about two months before this date and then the price for this room is 285 dollars but then about one week before when we check again because we wanted to extend for one more day the price actually go down to below 200 dollars so i feel like um pricing not consistent and now talking about the location of this hotel this hotel is actually located within the central business district of wellington so it's not really the center center but it's on the outskirts of the wellington central and in terms of surrounding amenities there aren't much but there are two marts nearby within a walking distance one called lambton mark and the other one called seven mark so really really close by making it very very good and one thing i want to highlight in terms of the location i would say the car park situation is really really tough there's one public car park right off it, but even if you pay it per hour rate it's quite expensive so we decided to go with the value parking which is $55 per day there's parallel parking on the outside and it's on a very very steep slope What's up guys, so now it's the second day of Sofito Wellington and as you all know, New Zealand's hotels always checked out early. So now we're going to check out if it's possible to do a late checkout and it's currently 9.30 and it's quite rushing because we haven't even packed finish. So let's give it a try. Can I just check, is it possible to do a late checkout today? Um, you're aware that checkout time is at 11 a.m.? 11 a.m.? Yes. Uh, yeah, give me a moment, yeah. So checkout timing for Sofito Wellington is 11 and not 10. So do think of that. We're not going to ask because we want to head out and check out the rest of Wellington before we move on. What's up guys? So now we're going to go through the in-room dining menu. Though it's not much, but we'll just briefly go through it. And also we didn't really order. But there's also a $10 per order charge. So it's really, really expensive. Other hotels that we have done charge about $5. So Singapore hotels don't really charge that. There are a couple of things for the in-room dining. There's fish and chips. There's Angus Eye Filet. There's Sofito club sandwich there's angus beef burger single cheese board and blueberry almond tart so basically that's about it for the all day dining menu but the most expensive one is 49 dollars there are also a couple of all day all night menu from 11 a.m to 6 30 you have fried rice you have mixed herbs salad and you have ham and cheese sandwich and salt and pepper pie so the pricing for all of them is 18 dollars so relatively expensive for something that is really really small there's also a kids menu won't go through that but i'll put it up on screen so i'll show you guys but there's also a breakfast menu starting from 6 30 a.m all the way to 10 a.m uh, price wise is 32 and 42 new zealand dollars so relatively expensive and now talking about the facilities of sofito wellington there aren't much to begin with there's only a gym that we have checked out overall the gym i would say is a 7.5.10 no free weights for barbells but there are dumbbells going up to 20 kg and a variety of color machines and weighted machines there's also a cable machine as well it will provide water and towers as well there's also a cafe and bar at ground floor unfortunately there's no swimming pool not too sure why probably because it's always cold here what's up guys so welcome to the end of this hotel review it's going to be a very short outro yet again so overall ratings for me i would say say 6 upon 10 i'll give it a 7 out of 10 because of the price for this one so yeah that's about it for our thoughts and opinions so if you like this video remember like share and subscribe and watch all our other hotel reviews and also stay tuned for the new zealand content so see you guys in the next one have a good day.